Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Welcome to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. And we are headed to a lake up in Chelan County, which are rumored to have some brown trout. So my hope is to get into some brown trout today. It's kind of a sketchy drive, as you can see from the road. It's uh, it's kind of a uh, all-wheel drive road, but so far the sedan has made it up there so, so far so good. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you on the lake. All right, guys, fish on. Hey guys, I'm out here in Chelan County. Found a lake just over my shoulder that's supposed to hold some brown trout. So, got my float tube on my back, hiking down to a spot where uh, I could easily launch. It's kind of down a little bit of a cliff side, so looks like up the lake just a little bit, there's a spot where I can walk down and launch the tube. So, let's hope, uh, my hope is that we get into some brown trout today. All right, let's go do this, fish on. Ooh, I forgot how heavy this float tube is. Yeehaw! All right, I'm on the lake. I'm thinking, you can see the reeds over there. I love fishing those reeds and it just, it looks very, very brown trouty. What well, looks good? These look kind of good, huh? Some tinsel hair. I hate it when I leave these little taglines on. Don't be lazy. Like me. Cut them off. All right. As I was saying, I'm going to try just a single coronamid. This uh, looks pretty good here. The snow cone. It's got some crystal flash in it. And... I'm gonna throw it up against the reeds because I'm just I'm feeling like if I was a brown trout, that's where I'd be hanging out. Got a good knot. And I'll put my indicators. Got a small indicator that I'm gonna use. Find it. There it is. And I think I'm only gonna put it, because I'm fishing against the reeds. Probably don't go too deep, so I'm gonna do about maybe 18 inches off the indicator, or off the fly. See if that works. Don't wanna drop this little screw thing. All right, there you have it. I'll throw it against these reeds and let's see if we can catch a fish. All right. Look at everything but a fish. It's terrible, terrible cast. Go. I got a fly out. I need to correct that. All right, I'm ready. All right, good news. Just saw some fish rise, so I'm going to tie on my San Juan worm. Ooh, right there. See it in front of me? And a coronamid. Fish literally just rose right here. Let's see if I can catch that fish. See him start to rise. It's a good sign. 
I don't know why, but it is looking good in this cove. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> wow. I just had a feeling. I was looking over here and just, it just looked so fishy. It was deep. And sure enough, coronamid. Oh, my net's still clipped. Looks like a little brown trout. Nice. Yes, indeed. That is a little brown trout on the coronamid. It's been a long time since so I caught a brown. This guy. Nice little brown. All right, she's ready to go. Nice. Broke the ice. Nice little brown trout. Sweet. That is so funny. I mean, no sooner did I cast it in there, turn the camera on, and there was a takedown. That's pretty cool. But it did. It looked really fishy. This looks like the outlet of the lake. I know if I was a trout, I'd be hanging out over here. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, that was a hard takedown. Oh, another one. Come on, dude. Oh man, that went down fast. Oh. <laughs> well, that's three. Three in a row I missed. Or is that four? Those are decisive takedowns, too. There we go. Fish on. Oh, did he come off? He came off. Shoot. That felt like a better fish, too. There we go. Fish on. Another brown. Nice. How cool is this? Nice little brown trout. Pretty fish. See him in the light. Nice. Try a little closer to the reed line here. Not sure how. Looks pretty deep. There we go. Ooh, that feels a little heavier. You can kind of feel the head shake. This feels like maybe a little bit bigger fish. Yeah, it's a nice brown. Yeah. Nice fish. It's funny how you can tell just based off of the head shake that you're into probably a little bit bigger fish. Check this guy out. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. Gotta love browns and how colored up they are. Just such a pretty fish. Very nice. Oh, I just knew this cove was gonna be good. You know how you just get that feeling? You had reeds on both sides, deep. It's the outlet. I, you know, if I were brown trout, I'd be kind of hanging out here too. There we go. Just when that thing started to move, I made sure I was on it that time. Just the slightest move. How awesome is this? It's a great brown trout. 
another nice one. I'm gonna take a picture of this one. I had to get a couple pictures, a pretty one. Got some beautiful spots on it. Look at this guy. That is a beautiful brown trout. Well, the good news is it appears that I have found where the brown trout like to hang out because my indicator sits out there no more than a minute before the flies begin to be assaulted. And that is a good thing. <laughs> he beat me. Beat me to it. That was more of a quick shot. Fire down. <laughs> me against the brown trout. Who is going to be faster on the draw? Oh, I missed it. I was on it too. <laughs> I was way late. Uh, to my defense, I wasn't looking. Oh my gosh, again. What the heck? There we go. Oh, he's a jumper. And let him go. Thanks very much. Fastest to the draw that time. Oh, man. I <laughs> I think I've missed more than I've caught. I gotta get in the firing position here. Get ready. All right, you see that? Oh, he's running right at me. Just like that. And time to let her go. This is really insane. It's not often you get fishing like this to where it's just one after the other after the other. So much fun. So glad you joined me today, too. There we go. Fish on. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, that was a, that was a takedown. There we go, fish on. Yeah, that's a nice brown. They always want to go down to my fins. Jeez, that fish right there, beautiful brown. All right, guys, it has been a tremendous day fishing. I wanted to get into some brown trout and boy, did I ever, just a great day. It's such a beautiful lake. Look at this, it's just, it's stunning. Perfect day, mid 60s, just bluebird, sunny skies. Love the cumulus clouds, it just, just makes for the perfect setting. I really appreciate you joining me. I'm gonna do a little more fishing, just kind of round out the day and just kind of relax and reel in some more fish. But I really appreciate you joining me on this trip. And uh, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button for me. Consider subscribing, you won't regret it. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in and fish on.